Hey team, and welcome to today's video in PowerPoint, where I'm gonna be sharing with you how to create this awesome presentation that allows you to navigate through each of the slides using the morph transition. Let's jump in. Let's get started by adding a photo to the main slide. Right click the photo and select format and underneath picture corrections, darken it by about 50%. Select the picture and copy it. With the background selected, choose picture fill and select clipboard. Now we can delete this photo. Add in the text that you want to use and then insert three three inch circles. You can adjust the height in the top right corner. Now select each of the circles and under fill, select no fill. And for line, choose a white line. Align the text to the top and format the text as desired. You can go to the insert tab and select icons to search for icons you'd like to use. An easy way to find them is to type in business and you have a great list here. Now enter in the icons that you've chosen and make sure they are spaced appropriately. Click the slide here and use Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Now let's move our icons up to the nav bar. Size them at about 1.2 for height and width and reduce the text size as needed. You can go to shape format and select a line center to make sure the active one is in the middle. Now we can delete this text and move the icon up as well. For the icons not in use, size them at about 0.9 for each with the icon in the middle. Now insert the new image for this slide. Go to crop and select an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. Again, copy the image and right click to format background and select clipboard. With the image we still have on screen, go to the picture menu and reduce sharpness to minus 100 and brightness to minus 40. Now we can use this to fill up the slide and then go to picture format and send it to back. Enter your text onto the slide and then using the rounded rectangle, draw this onto the screen. Move this yellow dot icon so that the corners are perfectly rounded. Duplicate this shape and spread them out so you get something that looks like this. We can go to the fill options and use slide background fill. Go to effects and select shadow. Under presets, select this middle option for offset center. Eliminate the transparency and increase the blur to about 15%. You also want to make sure you remove the outline. Additionally, for the navbar icon that's currently active, you can choose slide background fill. Now let's duplicate the slide two more times. To finish up the navbar, I'm gonna insert the picture I want on slide three. I can delete the photo we have there currently as we will be replacing it. I'll copy the photo and just like before, we're gonna use the photo as the background image. But now to update the nav bar, I'm going to change the aspect ratio of this image to one by one. Because we're going to use this image for the nav bar, I'm going to reduce its brightness by about 40%. Now I can copy the image and go to the nav bar. I'll select the applicable circle and insert this as the fill. Just like the previous file, we're going to reduce the brightness of this image by 30. We'll expand it to cover the full slide and then we'll send it to back. I'll now highlight all of the rounded rectangles and move them off to the left side so that I can move my text off to the right. Now I can move the rounded rectangles back and then I can adjust the size and shapes as desired. I'll also make sure to update the text in the text box for this slide. And now what I need to do is move this initial circle and icon off to the left so the correct icon can be in the center. Reduce the size of the result icon to 0.9 and line it back up. And then to hide the text on the second slide, with the text highlighted, you can go to options and fill and set it to full transparency. Then we can move the icon up into the center. We're gonna increase the size of the active icon to 1.2, just like the other slide. Move the icon to the bottom and reduce the size of the text. And don't forget to update the background image of the initial icon to that picture fill. Now with slide four, I'm going to repeat the same steps. Now with our final slide created and all of the nav bars finished, select all of the slides, 
Go to Transitions and select Morph. As a final pro tip to help with navigation, on the slides following the title slide, I place this home icon in the bottom left that goes back to the first slide. And then you can set up this document so the user can navigate in presentation mode. You do this by selecting each of the applicable circles, going to Insert, and selecting the Action button. Since this icon will take us to the Results slide, we want a hyperlink to Slide, and then we'll select Slide 2 and click OK. Make sure to complete this step with each of the three buttons located on the home screen, as well as each of the three buttons located in the nav bar. And there you have it, team. I can select any one of these icons and it'll take me to that correct page. I can also select in the nav bar and the page will update. If I need to return home, I can click home in the bottom left. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos.